number 4, given fx, so here we write it, fx is equal to 2x plus h divided by x minus 3. x is not equal to 3 because the denominator cannot be 0. f4 is equal to 13. So we know that f4 is equal to 13. Find the value of h. So from here, you see this one, fx, this one is x. When we change the object to 4, Everything with x will change to 4 and everything here is equal to 13. So here, down here, when we have f4, x will change to 4. So here would be 2, 4 plus h divided by 4 minus 3. See here, this one is 4. This one up here and down here is 4 is equal to 13. So here we have 2 times 4 is 8 plus hash divided by 4 minus 3 is 1 is equal to 13. 8 plus h is equal to 13. H is equal to, so we bring it to the other side, 13 minus 8 because this one is positive. So here we get 5. The value of h is equal to 5. B F negative 1, 3. So B F negative 1, 3. So this one is F inverse. To get F inverse, we must have the inverse function first. Okay. So to get inverse function, first we must make equal to Y. And then we have to find X. Okay. F X is equal to, you have 2X plus H is equal to 5 divided by x minus 3. So to do inverse function, make it equal to y and then we find x. 2x plus 5 is equal to x minus 3. This one will make it equal to y. So bring to the other side. 2x plus 5 is equal to y, x minus 3. 2x plus 5 is equal to y times x is x, y or y, x. y times negative 3, we get negative 3, y. So now what, what we want is, we want to find x. Okay, I will bring 2x here and negative 2y to the other side because I want the value to be positive. But if the value is negative later on, you can also change it. Just quite a long way to go. Okay, this one we have... 2x is moving inside the xy territory. Now we have xy. When 2x moving in, we will get negative 2x. When, when you enter other territory, the polarity is changing. Okay, which is equal to now on the left side here we have 5. So negative 3y enter this side, negative will become positive. Okay, x, this one is y minus 2, is equal to 5 plus 3y x is equal to 5 plus 3y divided by y minus 2. So we know that now we have find x. When we find x, this one is actually f inverse in term of y, which is equal to 5 plus 3y divided by y minus 2. When we want in term of x, it's actually 5 plus 3x divided by x minus 2. Can you see when we change the object, when we change the object, the in, uh, when we change y to x, everything with y, you see here y, y, change to x. So now the question 1, f negative 1, inputs f negative 1. This one is 3, right, which is equal to 5, plus 3, 3 divided by x is 3 minus 2. So here 5 plus 6 is, 5 plus 9 is 14, divided by this one is 1, which is equal to, 14. <coughs> See the value of m when f negative 1, m is equal to 2. So just now what we have is equal to 3x plus 5 divided by x minus 2. Okay, so what happened when f negative 1 m is equal to 2. So we just follow this one. From this one, we change to fm. 
when the x change to m so everything with x will change to m so here we have 3m plus 5 divided by m minus 2 you see here 1 2 and we know that this one is equal to 2 okay so here we bring to the other side 3m plus 5 divided by m minus 2 is equal to 2 so we bring to the other side 3m plus 5 is equal to 2m minus 2. 3m plus 5 is equal to 2 times m is 2m. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So 2m we bring to the left. 3m minus 2m is equal to 5 we bring to the right. Negative 4 minus 5. So here 3m minus 2m is m. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So the value of m when f inverse m is equal to 2 is negative.